gave me rest to my mm -hmm. soul. Mm -hmm. And he gives me rest to my soul, uh, even as I, uh, with what's going on with my wife. Amen. Hey, brothers, love y'all. So you get back with me on that, right? Yep. I can. As soon as it comes I'm going to try to pull out of your side more yep. sometimes. Get some good pictures. Huh? You on Facebook, Instagram? No, I got off of Facebook. Well, just get on, get some pictures. Send them to me. Like when y'all doing your thing. When y'all preach and spread the word, take some pictures. He'll put it on YouTube. You can, you can go to uh, Ray Nix on YouTube and you can go send him an email at rnixray at gmail.com if you have any questions. Thank you. See you, man. We got this side covered. What about the back? Oh yeah, we got to go over the back, brother Chuck. Yep. Now, how about this scripture right here? He that says he knows God and doesn't obey Him is a liar, and the truth is not in him. That's pretty cut and dry, right there. Mm-hmm. First John two three through four. Yep. And uh, look it up. Yep. And. Uh, when you're driving up behind this RV, that's going to hit you in the face, ain't it, Brother Chuck? <laughs> yeah. How you like that? Is a liar in red. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. Isn't that pretty Hope cool? Hope you can see that. Yeah. Yep. You should be able to. So up there we got is your name in the book of life. The bottom line is if our name ain't in the book of life and our heart stops beating, we go into hell according to God's word. That's right. I didn't make it up. I didn't make the rules. Are you ready to face God? Good question, isn't it? Yep. Have you repented and turned from sin? And surrendered all to Jesus. I like that word all highlighted right there. And you continue to submit it all. Yep. Yep. If you continue in my word, Jesus said, you are my disciples indeed. That's right. To love God is to hate sin. Jesus said, a hypocrite shall receive greater damnation. Okay. How many people have we have we witnessed that says they're a Christian, but they also say we're hypocrites? We've witnessed that, haven't we, Chuck? Yep. That's but right. yet Jesus said a hypocrite shall receive greater damnation. So that's right. The bottom line is, uh, uh, we need to get all the sin out of our life and not willfully sin. Yep. Hebrew says if we sin willfully, that right. means you know it's wrong. Right. It's like my wife willfully knowing that Jesus said not to divorce me other than adultery. She willfully does it anyway. Yeah. That's an example in my life. Mm -hmm. Okay. The most powerful example in my life. Yeah. Explain, Brother Ray, <clears throat> that... I could have... Hold on a minute. I could have willfully divorced her mm -hmm. because she walked out on me like fourth time. You know? Uh, but but I would I would have been sinning against God. And I, number one, and I want my family to be one unit. I, I, I want to do what I can do to try to make it work. Mm -hmm. And I still believe God might uh, uh, chasten my wife and, 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 and cause her to reverse course. I pray. Mm hmm and I pray my wife will find it in her heart to reverse course so our grandchildren can see grandparents together that both claim to be Christians. Mm -hmm. And they should be together. Amen? Amen. That's uh, right. So what was you going to say, brother? So explain uh, repentance. To, so we've heard people say that repentance is, well, just believe in Jesus. They call that repentance. Right. You know? And, and they believing. say they just do it one time. Yeah, and that's just believing. That's just faith. Yeah. Big difference in faith and repentance. Repentance, yeah. They got to turn from turn from their sins, and the Bible says those who endure to the end and turning from sin shall be saved. Right? That's right. You got to endure That's to right. the end. It's like I told Wells. I could get mad at God right now because mm -hmm. of you know him telling me Vicky's my wife, and I could just just 
get mad and just go off living in the flesh, and I would have, I'd go to hell. Mm -hmm. I'd go to hell. Right. According to God's word, right. He says if we sin willfully after we receive the knowledge of truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sin. See him, we crucify the Son of God afresh, put him to an open shame, mm -hmm. counted the blood of the covenant whereby we was sanctified an unholy thing. Mm -hmm. and insulted the spirit of grace. Mm -hmm. And everybody hears about, oh, grace, grace, grace. You can insult the spirit of grace. That's right. According to the word, by willfully sinning. That's, That's how right. we do it. Amen? Amen. That's right, brother. But we don't hear preachers preach that. No, mm -hmm. they'll just tickle your ears and just say, pray this prayer with me, and, and you know, it's all better. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I would encourage all of y'all to don't be so delusional. Jesus said it's a narrow and straight way. He looked all over this whole world and found one righteous man in Noah. Mm. Uh, and uh, he said days. it'll be like until the days of Noah when the son of man shall return. What was that preacher's name that, that, that died, had an out-of-body experience? Uh, George, uh, uh, let's see, what was his name? Howard Pittman. Howard Pittman. Yeah. Uh, and he talked about... Uh, he got there and God said, you weren't going to enter. Yeah, God told him, the angel or something he, he told was him hit, he wasn't going to enter. Because he he, 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 he he himself was the idol. He did all the work for God for himself. Yeah, he, had, he was high-minded like a lot of these preachers are. Right, yeah. yeah. It was into himself. Yeah, had, scary thing. Power. Yeah. And he said what it was like, how many percent of all? He, as yeah, a, that, he didn't really notice it, but the angel pointed out to him that the road that was going to damnation was like well in 15 minutes that he had died there were 2,000 people died in the same 15 minutes and only 20 people were entering the kingdom of God 20 out of 2,000 yeah so that's like 2% yeah 2% and that's that's my guess you know one and a half two percent of all the people uh, in America right you know that's, that's I right mean, you look at all the hypocrisy and, and, and like so many churches and you look at the divorce all in the church, just about as bad as the world, and all the sin, and uh, people in the church, you know, having sex outside of marriage, and say they love the Lord, and, and you know, going to the bars like, you know, we've experienced, you know, mm -hmm. ourselves witnessing, talking to people. Mm -hmm. It's just unbelievable that Jesus said in the last days, many false Christs and false prophets or preachers shall arise mm -hmm. and shall deceive many. Many. And That's if right. it were possible, the very elect right. could be deceived. So we need to get into the Word of God and know the Word of God and walk in the Spirit daily mm -hmm. and pray so that this world don't consume us. And Amen. so we don't get caught up in right. this wicked world. Amen. That's right, brother. Is that got it? I got it, brother? Yeah, hey, let me tell you. Let me, huh? Go ahead. So anyway, uh, I, I was going to say that uh, if you want to check out Howard Pittman, he's on YouTube, and he's got his personal testimony. He's got his personal testimony on YouTube about you know his out of the body experience and dying, and uh, uh, you know the Lord taking him and giving him another chance, and he came back. And preach for another twenty or thirty years. So, you know, check out that testimony. And yeah, and he, testimony. the Lord get like like sent him all over the world in every country, didn't he say? Yeah, yeah every country. He Testifying said. about what he saw, how few fewer people, That's right. how narrow and straight the way is, is what he is really was his message. Mm -hmm. So yeah, check him out. You know, check out Ray. I'm gonna have some YouTube stuff in the future. So uh, anyway, I've been inspired by Brother Ray to get out there. And, labor in the field the bible says the harvest uh, is plentiful, plenteous and the laborers are few, few. amen so, so we need laborers out there to, to go out and do the work of the lord and you know amen and you know my son daniel before i blocked him on uh on uh my phone he says how many people i mean do you think you've led to god you know going out in the harvest field yeah. i said well daniel i know of a few but not very many i said but you plant seeds the Lord says, you know, a seed planted here and a seed planted there. And and uh, and not only that, we warn people. Right. You know, God warns us. Right. Your parents, when you're grown, when you're as a little baby, they warn you, don't cross the street without looking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, they warn you, you know, don't do drugs. Don't do this. It, it, you know, things to not do because they love you. Mm -hmm. 
and you got you might go ahead and do them anyway but God warns us right. and uh and uh that's what love is yeah. and uh so if nothing else we go out warning our fellow man you know this is what the judge said they say no you're judging me but no we're telling you what the judge said right. the judge said repent or perish mm -hmm. uh the judge said a lot of things mm -hmm. okay but the judge loves us all yeah. but he's holy he's a holy judge right. and uh the word says, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Amen. And uh, so that sounds like it's going to be a, not too many going to make it. Yeah. It's um, the responsibility of the church to go out. The Bible says, he says, go ye into all the world yep. and preach the gospel to every creature. That's right. Into the world. Into the world. Every creature okay. in the world to go preach the gospel. And, it, you know, and go out and tell them about Jesus and warn them about the wrath to come. The Bible says if you see a wicked man sinning and you don't warn him, his blood can be on your hand. So you need to really walk close. Exactly. To him. Like he told Ezekiel. Yeah. Told Ezekiel. So. And, uh, and another thing is, you know, in that parable that Jesus was given in the wedding, like he, he's coming back. We're, we're the bride, right? So this is a marriage, mm -hmm. technically according to God's word. Right. And we can commit adultery on the Lord by, by disobeying him. That's, that's spiritual adultery. That's right. and, uh, but he said, go on out. He said, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come into the wedding feast. Mm -hmm. Well, they went out and they got some people because, you know, everybody was too busy. Think about that, Brother Chuck. They didn't even want to come to the wedding feast. They were too busy. Right. So they had to go out and try to find people. But they went out and found some people, and what the, there was a man in there that wasn't worthy. He wasn't prepared. Right. And the Lord rebuked him mm -hmm. and said, no, you got to get out of here. Right. And, uh, so we got to get ready. Amen. Got to be ready. The Lord says people. he's coming back for a church without spot or blemish or wrinkle. That's right. Wrinkle. Yeah. That's like your clothes being laid up and you're not wearing them and they get wrinkled. Oh, well, there's a lot of quote unquote Christians. They got a lot of wrinkle because they're ashamed of the gospel. They're ashamed to stand up for righteousness. Right. They keep it to themselves or their quote-unquote Christian friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and there's people dying and going to hell all around them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and uh, they're too ashamed or too into themselves to share the Word of God with them. Right, but, uh, and we got, to get, brother, we got to get Jax in this uh, here, video. Come here, buddy. That's... Uh, uh, brother Chuck and his family's dog, and he's the sweetest thing in the world. Can you can you say a word there, Jax? Hey, Jax, get in the video, buddy. <laughs> so hey, some, boy. So I got some blue tape on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a sweet doggy. All right, Jax. God put a lot of love in in, in dogs. They say a uh, dog's man's best friend, right? That's right. But he got a lot of love in him. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and and please pray. For me, because what's this Wednesday, Chuck? Wednesday, yeah. So I plan on getting this RV on the road Saturday morning sometimes. And y'all, please uh, give me pray, some. Pray for Brother Ray's protection. Yes. Pray that the Lord would lead lead him to the, the places he needs yeah, to go. Yeah, show that on me, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but y'all, y'all, please pray for me because it's not any fun. You know, this RV is really cool looking, to be honest with you. It looks cool, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if a homosexual reads uh, up there where a homosexual won't inherit the kingdom of God or transgender, yeah, uh, they might get, you know, angry and violent. That's right. And, uh, so anyway, uh, pray. I, my prayer is I ask you to join me in agreement that God put a shield around about this RV. They don't damage... This is uh, five thousand dollars, basically worth of work put on this RV mm -hmm. with all these scriptures. And uh, the guy that I bought this RV from had a blowout, and they charged him six hundred dollars to come put a new tire on. Mm -hmm. And uh, so y'all pray that you know that somebody don't want to slice my tires. You know, pray for me that pray that pray that the fear of God would fall on every man that would even dare try amen. to stop this amen and conviction Confem and conviction they yeah they, they repent and maybe you know send me an email my email address is on here my youtube yeah i've got well, any I questions i, 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 I don't brother. allow comments on my youtube because of some of the uh, mean uh cruel comments mm -hmm. but uh but i have my email address on here 
and uh, and and you're welcome to email me. And if you want to donate for gas, this thing, I'm guessing Amen. probably gets about ten miles to the gallon. Yep. Uh, Invest in the gospel and the next kingdom. Yep. The Lord tells you to store up your treasures in heaven. Amen. For uh, rust. Uh, what is it? Uh, Where moth and rust doth not, not corrupt. corrupt. Yeah. So Amen. put your treasures there. But uh, but anyway, I, I would appreciate y'all's prayers very much. And I don't even know when I leave here Saturday. I I think as the Lord laid on my heart, I'm going towards Atlanta. Uh, I might end up going to see Brother Casey in Bluffton and let him see my RV and head down into Florida. And I don't know where I'm gonna sleep every night. So y'all pray the Lord lead me and guide me. I, I feel like I should, I'm probably going to pull it into a church parking lot and sleep every night. Uh, so, you know, it's not a fun life, really. Mm-hmm. But I love the Lord with all my heart, and and I love my fellow man, and I'm willing to count the cost. And, and uh, so y'all, please pray for me. Amen. All right. But y'all take care. And I hope you go on YouTube and uh, watch this video. May the Lord bless you. And may you live holy and walk the straight and narrow and get out and evangelize. Amen.